Hey everybody, Johnny here. In this video, we're going to take a look at how to make the lights in your scenes look a lot more realistic and give some added flair to your renders. Let's take a look at this simple scene. I have three pendant lights hanging above a table. Currently, inside of each pendant light, I have a simple point light. These lights cast a very even amount of light across our surface, but overall the look is pretty dull because the coverage is much too even. Next, let's replace these three point lights with area lights. The area lights do give a bit of a softer look, but still cover the table surface very evenly. And we want a little more definition in the way the lights hit the surface. This is where IES light definition files come into play. An IES file defines how a light source emits its light. So if a particular type of light bulb or lighting fixture creates hot spots or other types of patterns, the IES file will help translate that into your scene. Many lighting manufacturers provide these IES files on their websites, mainly so that people doing architectural renders can add those specific light fixtures into their scenes and get a more accurate view of how the finished product might look. Luckily for us, there's a website that has pulled these files together and created sample renders of each one so that you can quickly find a light and plug it into your scene to give your scene more interest. Or, if you're actually wanting to add a very specific lighting fixture, it might be available on this website. The website is called ieslibrary.com. I'll put a link to it in the description. On this site, you can browse thousands of IES files. You can use these files straight in Blender as part of the shader setup of your lamps. Let's take a look at how that works. I'm looking for a particular type of lamp, so if I go here under Tags, I'll see that Pendant Lights are one of my options. From here I can scroll until I find one that I like the look of. For the moment, I'm going to choose this one right here, mainly because it has a lot of visual interest. And while this might not be the type of pendant light we would put over a table, it will at least show us what our capabilities are. So I'm going to download this file. Now to make this work, I'm going to go to my shading panel. And instead of these area lights, we're going to want to go back to our point lights. With one of our point lights selected, we'll come over here to the lamp data properties and choose Use Nodes. From here, we'll want to add a texture node called IES Texture. Choose External, since we want to load this from a file, and browse to the file. We'll connect the factor of our IES Texture to the strength of our lamp. Now, IES Textures are very, very bright to begin with. So you're going to want to reduce the strength on the IES texture, maybe to something down to like 0.05. Now that we have this, I'm going to delete my two other lights and then just duplicate this one across to the other two lamps. Now we can see that we have this very tight beam coming down in the middle and then a very soft beam coming out towards the sides. And this is the type of thing we can do with our IES lights. Here, I'm going to load up a different IES light set that I downloaded. Here we can see these IES lights have a much softer center column, but they still produce a hot spot underneath each one. So we can see on the top of the table a more varied coverage of lighting. So we can compare this to our area lights which have a very, very flat coverage and are very even across the whole cone of the light, where our IES lamps are much brighter towards the center of the cone and dimmer out to the sides. Of course, the only other thing that I would do now for these lights, after getting the brightness that I wanted, is set their color. The best way to do that is using the black body converter. If you go to Add, Converter, choose Black Body and plug that into your color. Then choose the color temperature that you want this to be. 
Perhaps a color temperature of like 3500 might be good for this setting. It has a warm yellowish tint to it. You might also go up to something like 5000, which again is much more white like these that are pure white, but still has just a little bit of warmth to it. So to copy this to the other two lamps, I would simply select all three lamps and make the lamp that has the values I want copied be my active selection, press Control L and say link object data. Let's compare once more the difference between these two setups. Here are our IES lamps and here are our area light lamps. Overall, I like the look of these IES lamps much better. You should take some time and look around the IES library website. There's lots of really interesting IES files out there that you can download and try out in your scenes. And I hope in doing so, they add just a little bit more realism to your renders. If you'd like the project file that I've shown here in this video, it's available on my Patreon page. And speaking of my Patreon page, I want to give a shout out to all my Patreon subscribers. Thanks so much for your support. Anyhow, I hope this video has inspired you to make something awesome, and until next time, I'll catch you later.